Our information about events at Pavo is incomplete. But I believe the Terrans are undertaking a large-scale operation there. They have managed to coerce the planet's consciousness into serving their vital needs. Furthermore, they've turned Pavo's transmitter into a potent weapon. Time is of the essence. While the Alliance is mobilizing larger response, we are, in effect, the first responders. It falls to us to do what we can to stop Captain Tilly and her crew before they solidify their control of Pavo. Failing to do so could be catastrophic. Ideally, we should return the Discovery and her crew to their proper time and space. Under the circumstances, removing the Terran presence from Pavo is the more immediate, logical need. Based on my readings, I believe the Terrans have managed to alter Pavo's song. Somehow, Tilly and her crew have manipulated it into a new type of harmonic waveform. This waveform is potent enough to realign the space around the planet, shifting it into a different quantum signature. As a result, a number of interphasic rifts have opened within the system. I believe she is attempting to bring things from the mirror universe to ours. Logic suggests an invasion force based on previous encounters with the Terran Empire. We are not the only ones interested in this behavior. The time-displaced Klingons are moving to investigate as well. Considering previous encounters, the situation could become volatile. science station on the planet's surface. It is logical to assume that the Terrans have taken control of the research team and their facilities. Preparing for an armed response would be prudent. The research facility has already been attacked. We must see to the welfare of the researchers, if any survived. Your assistance is appreciated. My injuries are not life-threatening. I have recovered. We are fortunate that the Terrans did not kill anyone. They were more concerned with our research data and equipment. Our work appears to have given the Terrans what they need to communicate with Pavo in ways we cannot. They are now able to alter the planet's consciousness, causing it to reflect their own dark nature. Our security personnel should remain with us. We will need all the help we can get against the Terran forces. While trying to communicate with the planet, we've learned that it uses crystal matrices as transmitters. We have a small collection of crystal samples. They may be useful to re-establish the planet's normal biosphere, free from Terran influence. I was able to take readings of the area. Terran technology is not subtle, especially agonizer gear. I am reading it in several nearby locations, a meadow, a riverbank, and a narrow pass. I'm also reading several Terran life signs in those areas. I do not expect a warm welcome from them. There is a canyon that exits to another glade of Pavan life a short distance to the south of here. Logically, the Terrans would seek out places where they can use their technology to attempt to subvert the planet. <laughs> Terran, yeah, it's 
150年遅れてるのに随分やりますねまあそうだわねまあパパパッと対処するわよこれでいいかなこれで全然ちゃうやろ。Disable the controls behind the spire before she forces Pabo to release a lethal wave Terrorists of psychic energy. Use their agonizer technology to induce a state of hostility in the Pabo biosphere. It is lashing out, using its empathic powers to project its pain and rage into other living beings. If the Terrans are able to do this on a large scale, the planet could serve as a massive telepathic weapon. It would be able to subvert or kill anyone, anywhere. We should disable this technology wherever we find it on Pavo. An interesting question. I believe the biosphere has a stronger connection to myself than my team. It may have instinctively struck the most familiar minds first. That being said, I do not believe it will continue to exclusively attack members of my team. Only those with the ability to harm the biosphere will be immune. Yes, now that I have experienced the psionic attack, I can take steps to shield my mind against it. The security officers, on the other hand, do not have my level of training in the mental arts. It would not be logical for them to continue on with us. It seems that in addition to using their agonizer technology on the planet itself, the Terrans are blocking access to the central pillar with force fields and selected areas. Doubtless, they wish to prevent interference in their captain's plans. Well, this is definitely not how I saw this ending. You know, it's only a matter of time before we beat you, right? You don't have the stomach to stop us. But we're more than capable of ending you. And I intend to make that happen. That 
seems unlikely. Your campaign of terror here is over, Captain. Oh, I'm not done yet, Vulcan. Till next time, you assholes. Fascinating. Interesting. She has somehow used Pavo's transmitter as a long-range transporter. Tilly could be anywhere in the quadrant now. If we are fortunate, we might find further clues among the Terran equipment. They did go to considerable trouble to arrange the site. I think we have found all we can. It may be advisable to return to your vessel so that we can deal with the situation in local space. Now that you have secured the research preserve, we must find a way to return the remaining terrorists and their vessel to their proper time and place. We can use the Ion Storm to send Discovery back. Specially modified probes can amplify the storm in specific locations. This can generate a localized ion effect and open a gateway to the proper point in space and time. Indeed, especially given the Terran predilection for hostility. This is pointless. As much as it pains me to say this, we surrender. What are your terms? Fine by me. Tilly slinked off to parts unknown and left us to die. I'm the captain now, and I say send us back if you can. Your display has been updated with the locations to place probes around Discovery. Once the probes are in place, they will trigger an ion flare to open the gateway that will take Discovery back. Agreed. The time-displaced Klingons are still out there. They have shown a distinct interest in destroying the Discovery, along with all of us. Keep those Klingon ships off us! Warning. pattern you screwed Ion Storm intensified. Soon it will shift Discovery and any ships near her back to the 23rd century. Our shields won't last long if this is so. Shields have failed. Once the research team is able to resume their duties, Fasten, you will begin to analyze the storm in the agonizing technology of the pod ecosystem. Considering what we have just witnessed, it will be logical to make sure too that the crew didn't leave any unexpected surprises on the planet as well. Probes are in For now, position. I believe we can it. safely depart the system. Three, two, one. Engage. It will take some time to evaluate the impact of the Terran occupation of Pavo. The agonizer technology they used to manipulate the planetary biosphere was invasive and damaging. I'm concerned about the effect it had upon the Pavan ecology, and how that will affect future attempts at interaction with the planet. The fact that Captain Tilly remains at large is troubling. 
Her technological prowess and propensity for violence should make her presence in this time quite disruptive. Quite disruptive. Should she acquire current technology and return to her own time, it is possible that she will rewrite history as we know it, turning our universe into one more like her own, if not worse. In the meantime, we both have our duties to attend to. It has been agreeable working with you. Live long and prosper.